one of the major problems with representative democracy as a whole, I think representative democracy is kind of like the best fix and the least broken thing, but there are valid criticisms of representative democracy, and one of the problems is a short-sightedness versus like long-term goals and expectations. So, for example, like something like paying off the national debt or uh, clean energy or trying to preserve a a planet for our children or even educating our children can be sometimes an uphill battle when there's this cycle of re-election and short-term political gains are often seen as more valuable than having good long-term planning. So that's sort of like the the name of the game. And I'm going to start time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I mean, in, in any form of democracy, um, you have this issue uh, where the people who are voting, the people whose opinion, and, and in a representative democracy, it's more just the people whose, whose opinions need to be courted, are often more concerned about themselves. So, for example, um, you know those cameras that take pictures of you when you speed on the street? Yeah, stoplight yeah. like cameras. Well, everybody hates those. Right. Everyone and people vote against them if they're on a ballot like they hate them. But the thing is that they are actually safer, more effective and cheaper than police officers. They're better for everybody, especially people of color right now who would really probably rather not be pulled over by a police officer for fear of dying. But people vote against them, even though they are generally better. Well, one of the problems with that is the application of that. If you remember, even specifically in Cleveland, those were being set up downtown, set up in Euclid, set up in places where they disproportionately affect people of color also. E yeah, I mean, obviously... It's like an yes. extra... It's an additional tax. So if you assume that people are going to speed all the time, and generally people <laughs> tend to speed about five miles per hour over... Um, they run through yellow or red lights. Oh, I hate um, they that do, so They much. roll through stop signs. That is, I mean, as dangerous as that is, you can consider that sort of like normal driver behavior. You <laughs> the have, cost of doing business. You have increasingly dangerous driving behaviors where, um, you know, you go past that. But I would say that that is, that is very much a norm, is, sure. is five miles per hour over. And so if you're going to start taxing that, you're levying an additional tax, and if you're only putting those lights into, like, poor districts, then you are putting an additional tax on the poor. Well, okay. See what I'm saying? If so, you are, but that's a big if. Right, and they, they weren't evenly applied. Like, these these uh, traffic cameras weren't being put up in, like, Shaker Heights or Chagrin Falls or Beachwood. They were being put up <laughs> downtown and Euclid and South Euclid and places that were so what i'm hearing effective. you say is put them everywhere for those of you who don't live in cleveland what pat just said was rich neighborhood rich neighborhood rich neighborhood poor neighborhood poor neighborhood poor neighborhood yeah so right so and i don't i'm not a big fan of them in the first place i would rather not have them at all but i'm saying you know if you're going to do that then it should be applied evenly I agree. I think they should be applied evenly. But again, but to the point of that's something where if that was instituted across the board evenly and fairly, right? But if that were put in place, it would be better for everyone. It would cost the taxpayers less. It would cause less harm, less traffic stops. Um, you don't get points on your license when you get, you know what I mean? So oh, if, if that were implemented, but no one wants to vote for that. Because they don't like them, and you don't like when you get hit with a camera ticket. Well, they also so, functioned a fair amount. And so they the, were they were applying uh, false positives. They were giving people tickets that didn't deserve them. I'm trying to get us back onto the point. Right. Okay. Well, I just particularly don't like cameras, but. That's uh, okay. Understood. But the point is, voters act in their own selfish 
short-sighted, seemingly best interests, which is very often not their actual best interests. Right. Which is a problem with democracy. Uh, although often you find that voters vote against their own best interests. Well, that's my point. a whole other issue. That's so my this is, exact So this is not point. necessarily a good replacement, but what's been um, – you know, theorized to be a better system would be like a benevolent dictator, someone who would be able to make long-term plans <laughs> and implement them in a better way than direct democracy. I am not a proponent of that. I think that democracy is still better, but I think you need to, if you're going to live and function in a democracy, then you should have some sort of awareness of this kind of thing and and we should be planning ahead for the future the best the best money that you can spend is like educating your kids and trying to get people into stem and working on like right. scientific breakthroughs like it pays dividends it, it it's been proven it's not even like mysterious whether or not we will get scientific breakthroughs <laughs> from that we will reliably get scientific breakthroughs from that that will pay multitudes more than right. what it cost in investment but and it yet takes people too are long still, to get it yeah people are still very reluctant to pass their local school levy thinking like oh you know i mean i don't have kids why do i need to pay for other people's kids very selfish just like short-sighted interest and if Absolutely. you can get beyond that like if you just smarten up a little bit you'd realize that you know this is the best investment <laughs> we could possibly make You're and right. it's the same thing with environment it's well the same no story. one no one pretends that democracy is perfect or all wise indeed it has been said that democracy is the worst form of government except all those other forms have been tried from time to time. That right. was Winston Churchill in November of 1947. Right, and that's the big problem with the, the benevolent dictator is, like, first of all, you can't possibly assure that you have a benevolent dictator. And second of all, like, this, even just one generation after, even if you had the best dictator ever, one generation after, you would immediately go to shit. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that is so... 35 seconds. Oh, well, well, then I would say that uh, we need to have a computer uh, be our dictator. Done. I really like the idea of, like, a uh, scientific rule of having, like, bringing in the very best experts and... A technocratic uh, government. Yeah, technocratic government, where you're making the best possible decisions that you, can, you have in a peer-reviewed way with, you know, the best hmm. data that's available. Yeah. There are a lot I of issues just... with that, too, though, but I know we're about out of time. Sure, that's I think we're just back to our uh, deserted island episode now. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, well, that is my time. So. Woo!